Along with the R17 Connor browser comes a new preset, the Book Generator preset, a great little helper aimed to solve a simple but annoying problem, populating areas with rows of books. And it couldn't be simpler. With just a few clicks, we can get really nice results with a lot of variety and complexity. Here's an example of a scene populated with books from this preset. The preset works with polygon selections. Here we have two shelves ready to be populated with books. We first import the book generator object into our scene by double-clicking on the icon in the Connor browser. Immediately, we see a HUD element on our editor view. This is where we access some of the main controls of the preset. Let's start populating the shelves with books. We first select the polygons where we want our books to appear, and then we click on either of these two options. Let's click on Add Selections as one group first. As you can see, a new null object was created underneath the Book Generator object. This is where we control all our settings for our books, book type, placement, etc. If you notice, we only have one set of controls for both shelves. If we want a separate set of controls for the other shelf, we just select the second option, Add Selections as Separate Groups. As you can see, we now have two sets of controls. Let's go with these two groups. If we now click on the first null, we see a set of options for our first shelf. Everything is basically organized into seven groups. The first is about our book types. Here we can choose between two types of magazines, thin and thick, two types of books, again thin and thick, and finally file folders. As you can see, we can uh, have multiple types enabled at the same time, or have just one type. Let's go with the thin and thick books. Now let's go to our second group and further adjust the books. Here we can select between different ways to orient the books based on their spine. We can have the spine face outwards, inwards, have the spine on top, or at the bottom. Or we can have multiple options selected. Let's keep the default option. Now we can uh, move on to our next group which is all about book placement. Here, we can space books apart and vary their spacing. We can also have the books slanted by enabling the slant option. What happens now is that uh, if we increase the spacing between the books, the books will begin to fall. By moving the spacing slider to the right, books fall to the right, and if we move them to the left, they fall to the left side. If we now enable the space variation, we will have some books standing up and others a bit slanted. Let's go with something like this. If you notice, our books are placed at the edge of the shelf, but we can change that quite easily by adjusting the book alignment slider. 100% means the books are aligned to the outer edge of the uh, shelf, while 0% means they stay in the middle. If we turn on the variation and play with a value, we can uh, get uh, a more random look. Let's move the book alignment value to around 6% and uh, the alignment variation around 50%. As you can see now, the books are slightly misaligned. To increase the randomness, we also have some options to adjust the rotation of the books. We can do that with the rotate slider here, and to make it a little bit more believable, we change the rotation variation with a slider underneath. Our next group is the book sizing group. Here, we can modify the height of our books and of course randomize the height to make it a little bit more convincing. So let's give an extra height of uh, one centimeter to our thin books and randomize the height a little bit more. Let's follow the same procedure for the thick books. To top it all off, let's enable some book stands for the edges of our shelves. Here, we have separate settings for the left and the right side. Let's enable the classic version for the left side and some books for the right side. For our second row of books, let's use some thin books and file folders. For the file folder, let's enable the binder and words option. Now, if we go to our book placement settings, we have some extra options specifically for the file folder. So let's increase the file folder quantity 
and also make them a little bit closer together. Since we don't have the slant option enabled, we get an extra row of options here, which is the books on top of books group here. If we enable it, we can see some more books added on top of the file folders and magazines. We can increase the number of books and of course add some variation to it. Now to finish everything off, we can start dragging textures in to the appropriate fields. We can either use our own or use the pre-made ones available in the browser. They're divided into separate categories since the UVs for each model are different. Once we add them into our scene, the only thing that is left to do is to just drag and drop to the appropriate places. And that's it! As you can see, with the help of the book generator preset, we transformed a boring task into a creative, fun process. Have fun!